Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion. Today, I want to talk about what makes Coral special. Now, before we get into this, I don't... There's two cities, no, three that I don't really explore. That is Coral, Skingrad, and Leowin. So, I'm going to miss a lot of quests I can already see. But, you know what? That's what the comments are for. You guys share your favorite quests in the comments below. So, Coral. It's... A city that's kind of out of the way, you know, if you think about the general routes that you walk around in Oblivion, uh, Coral is, it's out of the way, man. It's in between Bruma and Skingrad, which are very important cities, but one of the places that you'll be a lot in if you do the Fighters Guild is Coral, because the headquarters of the Fighters Guild is located in Coral. That's where the main Fighters Guild is. You know, it's not in the Imperial City, which is kind of weird, but it's in Coral. So, I call it Coral, I know it's Core Hall, but I call it Coral. So, you're going to be doing a lot of Fighters Guild quests based out of Coral, like a lot. And, when you finish, your leadership bonus, which is that, that chest that drops you items, is in Coral. So, just know that that is a whole thing. A major part of Coral is that Fighters Guild. Now, the Mages Guild quest that you get here is actually pretty dope. It's for this book and it teaches you the spell you can get Finger of the Mountain or Fingers of the Mountain, and it's this rivalry between these two mages. And you can go about it different ways, and the different ways you can do this quest gives you different rewards. I think for the starter Mages Guild quests, the Coral one has to be my most favorite one, just because it's a very detailed quest and really, like, it feel, it's not just a side quest, it's a side quest, and it's it's a dope side quest. Now, the coral oak tree, you know, that's their symbol. There's an oak tree in the middle of the city, and you can also find your second-in-command living there. But um, there's this other quest that I find myself doing every once in a while, and I don't remember the details of it. It's been a while, but you find it's either Khajiits or Argonians, these two... It's a mother-daughter living in a... and they run a shop. And you have to go, I believe, rescue one from this one town that is west of Coral. So if you go west of this town, it's all run down, and there's a cave system underneath the town, and there's all of these naked people with clubs. And you go save this person, run away from the town, and... You know, I believe that she is the a really good trainer in either Merchantile or Speechcraft, I don't remember which one it is. But that's a cool side quest. Other than that, I really don't know much about Coral. I mean, the oak trees are really cool. The Coral Wilderness, like the, the area around it, is definitely different than the Great Forest or the Imperial Reserve. Um, and it's kind of, it's very much um, one of those areas where it's big trees and big spaces like there's there's a lot um there's a lot more like it's not like you're in a forest there's a bunch of bushes there's not a lot of bushes at least what i remember oh also in coral i forgot about this there's a quest where you go with a farmer and his two sons to defend his farm and if you, you defend it with the two sons you get a, a short sword a glass short sword that is level scaled called Chillren, which is really good if you want like a starter sword and you know you're not going to use a frost sword, that's a really good sword. I also really like that quest as well. But I mean, other than that, that's really it for Coral. It's very medieval looking. It's also got a super expensive house. Like a really, really, really expensive house. I don't like the Coral house. I think it's, it's weird. But other than that, really not much I can say. I mean, the people are... I think this is one of the places where you don't really talk to a lot of people unless you're actually shopping there. Because you just don't... You don't seem to interact with people as much in Coral as you would in other places. So that's really it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you did, um, watch all the way through. Thanks! I, I don't know what else to say. My mind just turned off. So, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at playing video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post. Oh, whatever I decide to make.